Hello everyone. I want to introduce the Doug Allen Institute and welcome you to Georgia Tech tonight. We all knew and respected Doug. He was a phenomenal teacher, but he was also a great and original thinker. In his career, he was able to create a kind of clarity to the way cities work that nobody else has been able to do. I'll never forget when I was a student in France and he was taking us around to, to all of the great chateaux and he was able to explain to us how they worked in a way that was, was fascinating but also intriguing. It made you understand where these things came from, the 2,000 year history that brought you to that point in time and it got you excited about these things. It got you interested in a way that made you refine your career. So many of us changed what we thought we were going to do because of the impact that Doug had on our lives. We were transformed and I was lucky enough to be able to work with him for over 20 years after those, those days in Paris and I continued to learn from him as long as I was working with him both professionally and academically. And, and it was kind of an amazing thing because the last time I saw Doug, he taught me things that I didn't know and didn't understand in the same way that he did the first time I saw him. He was an unforgettable person. And we believe that this should be continued. And it's not enough to just archive the work. We need to build a living operational platform for the continuation of these great ideas, this research, and ultimately the knowledge that will lead us to a greater, deeper understanding of how we live in the world. And in order to do that, we're starting with the creation of a platform based on his famous class, The History of Urban Form. And we feel like this gives everybody an opportunity to understand the basic tenets that Doug taught us all in the past 35 years. So take a look at the following video and let's all move forward with the Doug Allen Institute. Thank you. A question that we might ask at the very beginning, as most books do on this topic, what is a city? And it is looking for what is in common that actually, I think, leads me to my definition. And so here it is, that a city is the largest man-made artifact in human history, manifest as a collective work of architecture built over time. A city contains two orders. The political order is a framework of common elements owned collectively. The economic order consists of individually owned parcels and their occupants within that collective framework. The economic order then actually fleshes out this constitutional framework. It consists of houses, all types, and markets, commercial office and institutional buildings, uh, that are not associated with the constitutional frame. This is more or less permanent, and this is more or less changeable. Every city has a constitutional order. The point of view of this course is from this intersection, looking backwards, to ask ourselves the question, how did we arrive here? How do we come to a point where we have an intersection called West Peach Street and Fifth?